former Senator Laila de Lima is known as a vocal critic of President Rodrigo Duterte administration. She was arrested in 2017 under charges linked to the new believed prison drug trafficking scandal during her term as Justice Secretary. Leila de Lima says she knew this day would come, but when it did, she was still brought to tears. The opposition senator surrendered to the Philippine National Police on Friday morning over drug charges filed against her by the Department of Justice. My arrest is an appalling sign of the return of a power-hungry, morally bankrupt and abusive government. There is no more doubt that our president is a murderer and a sociopathic serial killer. The senator is accused of receiving money and campaign funds from jailed drug dealers. She says she's innocent and that the charges are an attempt to muzzle any critic of the government's war on drugs. When Duterte was mayor of Davao City, De Lima tried to have him prosecuted for alleged extrajudicial killings during anti-drug crackdowns in the city. But reportedly, no witnesses ever came forward. When Duterte became president in June, critics say the crackdowns became a nationwide policy. More than 7,000 drug suspects have been killed in the last eight months. And De Lima blames Duterte. The three inmates were killed after they attempted to escape the facility and a high-profile person was taken hostage inside a secured facility. The former Senator Laila de Lima at Camp Krami Custodial Center of the Philippine National Police. The pointed object, possibly a screwdriver or ice pick, was pointed at her chest. She was also blindfolded by her captor. Dilima thanked the police for saving her life. She also thanked her supporters who all raised concerns after finding out about the incident. She adds, it was farthest from her mind that such a thing would happen to her after already suffering more than five years of what she called unjust detention. Dilima has been detained since 2017 for drug-related charges, allegations that the former Justice Secretary vehemently denies. <laughs> Sir! Sir! Ust Sir! <coughs> Hostage to what I need to see the Dilima? Hostage to what I need to see the Dilima? You are Muslim? And not allowed to see the Dilima? Nakai di lima sila Si Senador Sarap pa sa tao Pero ano ah Dito dito Antay lang tinga Antay namin yung ano namin Antay namin yung isang Ilan ba ang namustage doon? Tatlong muslim yun eh Mga muslim daw yung ano eh Namustage eh Anong gamit nila baril? Hindi namin ano Nagpaputok tower eh Wala ba kayong, saan ba yung duty ng tower? Hindi ba ito yung entrance? Hmm, eto, magano lang kayo. Hindi, nandun sila lahat eh. Tago ko na ko. Tago ko ka dyan. Tanggalin na yung kisos mo, hindi kayo makahinga dyan. Ha? Ito ang masisar Agustin. Sino? Sar Agustin. Ano, pasukin na natin. Ah, oh, sir! Sorry, sorry, lang yung ano doon, yung six second na natumba ko yung dalawa eh. Sino? Si Sulayaw na lang. Sulayaw na lang? Oo. Oh. Tara, tara! Pare, dandan na, pare! Dandan! Si anong gamit nila? Sino, sino? Ay, puta kayo, sir! Ay, puta kayo, sir! Ay, puta kayo, sir!
convinced with the footage released online regarding the hostage taking incident. This issue might be scripted because we are in a modern age with advanced technology. There should be a CCTV camera in the hallway and other area. Plus, former Senator Lila Dilema is a VIP or high profile person. The security should be tight. How did the inmate able to access the Lima cell or room? The door should be locked, right? Only the authorized personnel can open it. Also, they only release a footage taken from a body camera. They did not release a footage of a wounded police officer who got stabbed and slain three inmates. Just my common sense. Only in the Philippines, what happened to the Philippine police? We are hoping that this kind of incidents will never happen again, although there is no perfect system. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe in my channel, Jeline Fajardo. Thank you and God bless you.